Hello everyone, welcome back to my tantalizing bite. Get ready for the hottest chicken sandwich yet. This fabulous hot chicken sandwich recipe is a must try. You do not want to miss it. Before we head into the kitchen, quickly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon too so you can always stay updated on all of my latest videos. We are going to start off by taking four chicken breasts that we will slice horizontally to make thin cut fillets. Now to marinate, we are going to take two tablespoons of plain yogurt, a cup of milk, a quarter cup of pickle juice, some salt to taste, a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of red chili flakes, one teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter cup of hot sauce, and I'm using Louisiana hot sauce, and one egg. Once everything is mixed up really well, we are going to place our chicken breast fillets into this. You want to marinate this for at least one hour or overnight for best results. Now let's make our special spice blend. We are going to mix two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of hot chili powder if you want extra heat, and a tablespoon of garlic powder, a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar to add a sweet balance and also one teaspoon of salt or to taste. Now mix this really well and reserve one tablespoon for the spicy mayo and one tablespoon for seasoning your french fries. This smells really amazing. We are going to set this aside now and we're going to make our spicy mayo. We're going to take half a cup of mayo and to this we will add one tablespoon of the spice blend that we just prepared. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of hot sauce and I'm using Louisiana hot sauce. Now just mix, mix, mix and this delicious sauce is all set. This is great for sandwiches, burgers or for dipping your fries in. Now let's set this aside and make a simple coleslaw. We are going to take a half a cup of mayo. To this we will add some salt. Next we're going to add a teaspoon of spicy brown mustard. And I've chopped up a few jalapeno pickles that I'm going to add to this. I'm adding half a small onion that I've chopped up and I will be using 8 ounces of shredded cabbage. We will also be adding a quarter cup of pickle juice. Now mix everything really well. Now that our coleslaw is ready, we're going to set this aside and prepare our seasoned flour for the dredging. We are going to take about two and a half to three cups of plain flour in a big bowl. To this, we are going to add a teaspoon or two of salt and black pepper. We will add one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now just mix everything really well until it's completely combined. Now that our seasoned flour is ready, we are going to dredge each chicken fillet in this flour until it's nicely coated. Next, we are going to start heating up some oil for frying. We're going to do this on medium-high heat. And once our oil is nice and hot, we will add our chicken. Please make sure that you do not overcrowd your pan. 
and just fry each side for about four to five minutes. That looks perfect. Now I'm gonna remove these from the pan and continue frying the rest of my chicken. Remember that you only wanna fry for about four to five minutes on each side. Once all of your chicken has been fried, you are gonna take one cup of the hot fry oil and we're gonna add this cup of hot oil into that spice blend that we prepared earlier. Mix this really well and your hot oil is ready. This hot oil is what gives this chicken sandwich that extra kick. Now let's get ready to assemble our sandwiches. First, we are going to brush our fried chicken fillets with this spicy hot oil. Make sure that the oil is still hot and the chicken is still hot. This will ensure that it stays crunchy and does not become soggy and oily. Now we are going to place the chicken hot oil side facing down onto a toasted brioche bun. Now generously brush hot oil on the other side of the chicken. Let's top this with some dill pickle slices. Top it off with some coleslaw. Now slather the top bun with that spicy mayo we made earlier. And let's close up this sandwich. Oh my goodness, just look at this masterpiece. It does not get better than this, I am telling you. I am serving this monstrously delicious, crunchy, hot and spicy, saucy, juicy chicken sandwich with fries that I have seasoned with that mind-blowing spice blend that we prepared. What a fabulous treat. This sandwich is just absolutely delicious. You have to give it a try and do let me know how you liked it. I will catch you guys very soon with some more easy and delicious recipes. Stay tuned. Bye.